Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're gonna to be tying the uh, halo harness with a two to one or three to one mechanical advantage. Works fantastic. I'll leave a link in the description below to everything I'm using. So if you wanna purchase anything, you just go right to the link and it takes you right to the Amazon page where it's sold. Uh, I will, uh, like I said, I will be tying a halo harness with a two to one or three to one mechanical advantage. The items you'll need is a piece of uh, 30 foot webbing or 20 foot webbing tied off into a circle, uh, one or two D-rings and bailout rope, eight millimeter bailout rope. Uh, we carry in my department 50 feet of bailout rope in case we get stuck in a building that's uh, high rise, we can bust a window, bail out to the floor below to where we're away from the fire in, in a tenable space. But nevertheless, guys, let's get to it. Halo harness with a two to one or three to one mechanical advantage. Okay guys, so here we are with our unconscious victim, firefighter and or victim. They may or may not be wearing gear. Nevertheless, we can still use the halo harness. And what we're gonna wanna do first is get our webbing out of our cargo pocket. I uh, keep mine in daisy chain. If you look at my last video I made on how to make a daisy chain, that'll explain how to do that. First thing we do is take the D-ring off the end and you need to clip that on the symbol where you're gonna use it. Undo that end and this unravels. I know other knots that are out there, it is imperative where you put the fold or where you put this knot. When you're making the halo harness, it doesn't matter. What you do is literally make a halo around a person. You come underneath the head. You wanna make sure the webbing comes under the legs, just like that. So now, as you can see, you literally have a halo around the, the patient or the victim. Your next step is to grab the webbing that's between the legs. You're gonna bring it up and lay that on their chest. Make sure you, this is always in a neat working fashion. Bring that over their chest. What you're gonna do is the portion that's underneath or on their chest or something, you're gonna reach underneath with one hand, grab, this section of webbing here. On the other one, you're gonna reach over, grab this section of webbing here, and just start pulling tight, right? Make sure that the portion that's under the groin goes nice and high, and then the portion that was under the head now is under the shoulders. So now, as you can see, we have a halo harness with an attachment point, and I hook my D-ring onto that attachment point, and now we can drag the patient uh, in, in either direction, or vertically or horizontally. If you have bailout rope, now you're gonna hook your bailout rope to this D-ring and make a two to one or three to one uh, mechanical advantage. So now you can pull with a lot uh, less force, a lot more ease. And let me show you how that goes. Okay guys, so now the second part to the halo harness is adding your bailout rope with a three to one or two to one mechanical advantage. So I take my bailout rope and I have another carabiner here. And what I've done is make a figure eight on a bike here. And what I do is I bring this bailout rope around my back and I need a lot of bailout rope here. I need quite a bit. So now I become my own friction slash anchor point. I bring it around my back, just like that. And around that uh, figure eight on a bite, I'm gonna feed my rope through on a loop. I have a bite on that. And now this carabiner that I put on this attachment point, I hook it up to there bring this in tight and here I have my two to one mechanical advantage. If I want to make this a three to one, what I do is bring this back to that carabiner and now I have more mechanical advantage. So now if I step away from here and I pull, you'll see that all I need is just one hand to pull that victim. Now, it uh, takes a short uh, travel time for the amount you're pulling because you're using so much mechanical advantage. So just be aware of that. But if you can see, 
I'm just lightly pulling on that rope and you see how that mannequin moves. Now imagine this is a 200, 300 pound firefighter with all their gear on. It's gonna move that easily because I've tried it before. So you uh, take out your slack, give it some rope, right? Bring it in and now just lightly pull and the mannequin or victim comes to you a little bit at a time. Like I said, this is uh, used when you have time on your hands, when the patient is uh, conscious, semi-conscious, um, but they, nevertheless, you're not in an uh, immediate danger to life or health area to where you have time to get them out. All right, guys, that was a halo harness with the two to one, three to one mechanical advantage. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you could take something away from it. And practice makes perfect. The more you tie this harness, the more you use this system, the quicker and more efficient you're going to be at it. Uh, so that's about it, guys. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. As always, your comments are welcome. Until next time, we'll see you. Thanks for watching.